Hi, welcome back. Today we're going to do steamed egg. And the cool thing about steamed eggs is you can make them either as an appetizer or as a dessert. So let's get started and I'll explain. So if we we're going to do the steamed egg as a dessert, we would use one half cup of milk per egg and one tablespoon of sugar per egg. What I'm going to show you today is how to do two helpings of this steamed egg. What I'll demonstrate though is the appetizer. So just kind of bear with me. If you get lost, just rewind. So you're, what you're going to do is you're going to scramble together the egg. And in this case, we're going to use some broth, and this is chicken broth, but you could use vegetable broth or beef broth or shrimp broth or whatever, whatever kind of broth you like. So you could scramble them in a bowl, or what I like to do is I'm going to take two plastic glasses that fit together, kind of like a, a shaker, and I'm going to mix the egg and the broth like that. So let's do that. So let's start with the egg. These are jumbo eggs, by the way. So you can decide whether or not you want to do that. If you want to use smaller eggs. There we go. So that's one egg per helping. And here is a cup of chicken broth. Use your favorite broth. There we go. And we'll put this together just like that. And we'll step back a little bit and we'll just mix that together. So to make sure that there are no bubbles, because we want this to be really smooth, almost like a custard. So what we'll do is I'm going to use a, a strainer but you can use a slotted spoon or a sieve. And we'll just put that right through it. And if we get a little bit, there we go. And we'll do this one here. So if you look at it closely, you can see that the bubbles are staying in the strainer and the egg that's going in is very, very smooth. So while I'm waiting for that to filter through, what I'm going to do is I've got about a half a cup of water right in here in this Dutch oven and or deep pot and what we're going to do is we're going to improvise a steamer so we're going to get this water steaming it's on high and I'll just push this through there we go And what we'll do is we want to make sure that the steam doesn't condense on the cover and drip down into our custard, our steamed egg. So the way we'll make sure that that doesn't happen is we've got some plastic wrap and we'll just cover that just like that. And we'll put this in. There. there we go. And we'll cover this one. 
So if we were doing this as a dessert, we would just simply do the same thing with the milk and the sugar. And we'll put that in. So what we'll do is we'll bring this to a boil and we will let it boil for 10 minutes and then we'll turn it down for five minutes and then we'll shut it off. And if we want, we can take it out right away or we can just let it sit and cool off and it'll be fine. So what I've done, so we, didn't, so we don't have to wait to see it finished, is I've made one already. Uh, this one, unlike this one over here, this one is the dessert. So this one has the egg and the sugar. I've boiled it for 10 minutes and I've turned it down to low for five minutes and I've shut it off. It's probably been off for about 10 minutes so that I can reach in and not burn myself. And you can kind of see that The custard, the steamed egg, has solidified and there's no drops of condensation. Since this is the dessert, I'm going to just sprinkle on some cinnamon. And let's, you kind of see the consistency. It's like a custard. Let's taste it. Yum. So that's it for now, and we'll see you next time.